The Cuyahoga Land Bank says 16,000 Cleveland homes are now sitting vacant and need to come down. But the Slavic Village Community Development Corporation says it now has a plan that could save hundreds of these homes. This plan is a Building Better Neighborhoods success story. It's a partnership between the private companies and nonprofit organizations. And Five on Your Side troubleshooter Joe Paganakis has the story. Cleveland's Slavic Village neighborhood, plagued by vacant homes, victimized by vandals, houses left damaged by crime and arson. However, homes like this vacant four bedroom will now be saved from the wrecking ball. Soon, a family will once again be living inside, and all because of a new partnership combining private companies and nonprofit agencies. Cleveland Councilman Tony Brancatelli helped to create the plan that hopes to renovate hundreds of vacant homes over the next year. When you talk about Forest City, Albert Ratner, when you talk about about Safeguard and uh, Robert Klein, and you talk about a foundation like Neighborhood Progress Inc. bringing all their resources together under the umbrella of one of the uh, best community development corporations, Slavic Village Development. You are looking at a model that can be replicated across the United States. Data and research on which homes to purchase and save were compiled by Justin Fleming at Neighborhood Progress Inc. The target area is 530 acres. At any given time, we think there's 300 properties that could be impacted in different ways, and we want to address every one of those in an effort to really bring the neighborhood up as an, enti as an entire entity. Slavic Village Development Executive Director Marie Kittridge believes the renovated homes will reduce crime, increase property values, and more. The more people we have living here, the more businesses we can support, the, the better off our schools are, the better off our institutions are, our churches. And RIK Enterprises will provide the contractors through safeguard properties to bring these homes back up to code. The importance of having uh, Slavic Village, Forest City, NPI, uh, and RIK is that you have the for-profit and the non-profit partnering, and each one is able to bring to the table what they do best. That was Joe Paganakis reporting. The final contract for this plan was just signed hours ago. Work on this home and others will start in Slavic Village within the next two months. And it is a plan that is being looked at by other cities across the country. Once again, Cleveland is leading the way and we're going to follow up on its progress. Don't forget, you can learn more about improving your neighborhood on Newsnet5.com. Check out our Five on Your Side Building Better Neighborhoods initiative. And if you have a vacant home on your block, we want to know about it at bbn at newsnet5.com.